Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. I'm Natalie. I'm an empath and intuitive card reader and a visionary as well. I'm here this evening to do the general weekly reading for the week of June the 19th through to the 25th, 2017 for the sign of Capricorn. Welcome all you Cappies. Just getting her smudge up here. getting there. Oh, the smells. It's not a very good burn, but just the same. No, that's not good enough. I like big smoke. Let's go big or go home. All right. Still would have liked to have a bigger smoke than this one, but it is what it is. I don't like wasting too much time. Not that this is a waste, but there we go. That's for you guys. Take a hit off the bowl. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to push you guys back a little wee bit so I can make room for your cards. Capricorn. All right, let's hope for the best as we're going in here. I've already shuffled the cards really well. So we give them a few more rounds and ask Masters of the Universe and Masters of the Natural World Order and their spirit guides to please come forth with any messages that they may have to relay to Capricorn in this general reading for the week of June 19th through to the 25th, 2017. Now, if I slip and say Sagittarius, it's because I just finished their re their video. You start doing them back to back, but it's not. It's for Capricorn. So if I make that mistake, please don't don't be so hard on me. This message is for Capricorn. I always think of Capricorns as high energy. People with no-nonsense attitudes. I know a few. <laughs> More than a few. Yes, I do. That's what, just what they're like. They're high energy, and they have zero tolerance for BS in life. They have no problem telling anybody that either. They just don't. Let's try one more. One more. We should be there. Please. Waste of space card, don't show up. Oh, he's been in every reading. I'm getting the same cards over and over in every reading. Speaking to somebody else, um, another reader this evening as well. And they're, they're seeing the same thing. Um, I gave them their general reading. And they were blown away because I had mentioned the same cards or repeating themselves. It seems to be a theme among the signs. And they've been going through the same thing. So they were, yeah, they've been seeing it too. So planets, I tell you, it's all about the planets and where they're at, what houses they're in, who's opposing who. <laughs> there. Ah, oh, there we go. Here's your reading, Capricorn. There's your cards, I should say. Okay, let's go in. I'll lay them out and then we'll run over them. Monday. I just ended the last reading with that card. Funny it shows up again. Isn't that funny? The last two cards on the Sagittarius reading were the first two to show up here. Okay. Wednesday. Ah, Thursday. Friday. Saturday. And Sunday. Yes. Okay, 
I like to see those cards. Those last cards are good. Okay. Your first card is the hangman, and he's all about being in limbo. Somebody, some of you, remember this is a general reading. It's going to apply to some of you, and it won't apply to all. Um, some of you are um, on hold at the moment. Your lives are on hold. You're waiting for a decision to come down and come down in your favor. Um, and you can't make a move until you get the answers to the questions that you need answers to and decisions that you need to be made. So there's a feeling of being stuck and no forward movement at this time. Um, just things are on hold, waiting for decisions to be made. It's just that cut and dry. Um, everything seems static right now. And there's this general feeling of, oh my gosh, I've got no control. I can't make anything move right now. And you're very frustrated. Some of you may be tempted to compromise. Not a good idea. My newest favorite thing, and I don't know if somebody else said this before I did, but it's I'm I'm taking, I'm saying that I that I um um, um have pinned this quote of the thing the problem with instant fixes they only fix things for an instant and then you're back to the drawing board and nothing's changed, no great movement has been made, and all for just fix me now and get it over with. You need to look at the bigger picture almost 99.9% .9 of the time. Sometimes instant fixes are okay. The instant rewards, um, and it's okay to do that, but most times it's not. Most times the bigger picture is always the way to go. So the hangman asks you to stay calm right now and think on any options that you might have. Um, don't rush anything. This is a time that's not wasted in the bigger picture. You see, okay, well, I thought the time was a wasting when I was in that place. But I, after all, I find out that it wasn't at all. It was time well spent to sit and do nothing and to feel out of control. It's not a good feeling, but sometimes it's, it's uh, there are hidden blessings in there in the discomfort. The advice of this card is to use this time of waiting and see your situation. Um, maybe um, in a new light, try to take a different angle from it so that you can ride that wave until you get to where you're going to, where things start to move and come your way. Look for alternatives. Um, you may gain some valuable insight at this time as well. While you think the time's being wasted, it won't be. Light bulb moments, moments of epiphany. Um, your keywords are waiting in time. Feelings of frustration, feeling like you're sacrificing. Um, some insight, purpose, and viewpoints as well. So you're not going to like some people's viewpoints, and you're going to be the first and very quickly to tell them, my, yo, own business. End of period. Mind your business. Some of you in Capricorns are very capable of telling people that, mind your business. I don't want your two cents. If I want it, I'll ask for it. Until then, just pipe it out. Okay, six pentacles on your Tuesday. That was your Monday. So that's how you're going to start the week on the 19th. This here is a really good card. Sixes are normally pretty good. This one here is all about generosity. Of course, it's pentacles, which represent money, creativity, new initiatives, new beginnings. Um, it's a gift of money coming your way or even a token of love or support or friendship for somebody. This is something new that's going to come to you on your Tuesday. Um, you are going to feel um, genuine gratitude towards somebody that comes into your day um, or makes an extension, ex extends this feeling of warmth, love and support to you. You're going to be feeling very grateful. This is on your Tuesday. Um, you're going to be feeling that you'll be genuinely gra full of gratitude. Um, also, uh, you may be the one giving them your time, effort, or money. And and to do so, you do it without thought um, and remain sensitive to those that are around you. You may help a struggling friend or even one of your favorite charities. You may find yourself giving them your time, even your money. The advice of the card, receive any gifts that you have with thanks and with grace. And if giving to others, enjoy it because the act of giving in itself is such a rewarding thing. Your keywords are finance. I'm going to say unexpected um, because for those of you giving of yourself in any way, shape or form, it's a beautiful thing. Um, the gift that you get back from that will be a surprise. You'll be taken by surprise and say, I wasn't expecting to feel this way um, after it's all said and done. You'll know that your time was genuinely you couldn't have spent it in a better way. So you, you so any, any anybody that, that gives you something back, receive it with grace and humility. Um, your keywords are finances on this day, gifts, a sense of balance, finding balance, balance occurring, um, help coming from you and to you, 
compassion, a lot of compassion, a beautiful feeling of humility will all be will be welling up inside of you. That is that is when you're you're in touch with you're in touch with life in the world to feel humility. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And a sense of protection going on there too. Capricorns are very highly protective anyway, so that that's a given on any day of the week, not just on this Tuesday. Your next card on your Wednesday, on your hump day, is the Fool. And he represents new beginnings. And confidence there. Look at that. Blind confidence, really. But you know what? He's taken his cue from the dolphin. The dolphin can dive in safely in this spot. And so can he. He's going in blindly. He's taking a jump. Leap of faith, you might want to call it. When this card shows up, for most of you, you're on the brink of a brand new path in your life. A wonderful chance is awaiting for somebody for you, um, for some of you. Um, follow your destiny. Try not to fight things that fall into your path. And very, very clearly, and it's real apparent that that, 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 that destiny is going, hey, psh, you, come here. No, come here. Come a little bit closer. You're coming with me. Let's take a little walk. Don't fight that. Go with that. Wonderful things are in store on that walk for you if you just kind of let go and go with the flow and trust the destiny in the universe. There could be new work for some on the horizons very, very quick. You're going to hear about it on this day. Um, also, um, relationships may be highlighted on this day. Excuse me. Oh, be practical. Make sure your dreams are all realistic. So remain grounded. Don't don't get don't get the pie in the sky kind of thing going on in your head. Listen to your intuition. It's going to guide you. Um, focus on your goals on Wednesday as well. Um, you don't 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 be distracted by other people and fr frivolity. Okay, stay stay in the zone as far as that goes. Just focus on your goals. Throw your energy into those. Reinvent yourself. For some of you. Card is saying, go ahead, do something new, start something new. That even surprises you more than anybody else. That's always a, that's always good for a hoot. Um, this is a bright new future for some of you in a brand new territory. Remember general reading. So some of you are going to forget this feeling of newness coming over you through the day. New things are coming. It's exciting. Um, for some of you, there's going to be a small journey over land or over sea as well. For some of you, this will be pertaining to work. You may have to travel to actually get your work, get your job, um, and start making the money that you want to make and you want to move with for some of you. But you will have to travel quite a distance. I'm sensing that for some of you. The advice is to look before you leave at any situations that come upon you right now. And if you like what you see, Use your intuition and your intellect, your common sense. But if you like what you see, go ahead and jump right in. The card is saying so. So is destiny. The key reward, or keywords are risk and innocence, departures, discovery, journeys, starting over for some in a very good way. There's nothing bad there. Okay, so, all right, on your, okay, Michael, you're getting a little bit loud. That's my music. Anyway, okay, so on your Thursday, Seven of Swords, it represents loss. This is the thief card of the tarot. Uh, dry in here tonight. It's raining, it's humid, but I'm dry. So this is the thief card of the tarot. Uh, something being taken from you. Some of you have been suspicious in a situation of an entity of some kind, which can mean a place of business, government, place of work. There's been suspicions building, even with individuals. Well, those suspicions are about to be validated on this Thursday. So don't forget about that. Um, follow through your intuition. Um, something's telling you not to trust a certain situation or a certain per per person or a certain entity of any kind. Listen to that intuition. It's telling you not to trust and to check out your details before agreeing to anything, anything on this day. Take extra care of your possessions as well. Protect yourself from people 
that drain your energies. But make sure you lock your house up. Lock your car up. Lock your house up. Um, don't go near people that are going to drain your energies on this day. It would be a good day to avoid anybody like that as well. Um, it's just going to add more to your plate. You've got enough right now. Not that there's anything bad going on in your life right now, but you don't need, who needs the extra? We don't need that in our day. You know, for some people, they say if everything isn't going wrong, then, then nothing feels right. Don't do that to yourself, okay? The advice is be on your guard, protect your assets, examine the motives of others, use the WIFM theory in reverse. WIFM being what's in it for me, you ask yourself what's in it for them. A lot of these people coming up to me and telling me all this stuff and they're all happy and bouncy and all excited like about it. What are they getting out of it? What are they so excited about it? This is such a great thing for me. You should have red flags going off all over the place. Listen to your common sense and your intuition. Your keywords uh, for this card are theft, negative people, intuition, mistrust, decisions. Again, this sense of protection that you're bringing upon yourself and that's not a bad thing at this time either so on your friday it's a ten of wands all about um responsibilities and this is the overwhelming card the overwhelm card of tarot all right not always a bad thing you're just a little overwhelmed with responsibilities um some of you are feeling like this is too much i've got too much on my mind there's too much to think about and you're starting to feel the pressure either through work or at home there's some pressure going on um, some of you though may be, uh, uh, falling through too, too absorbed in the details. You're too absorbed in the, it's always good to be aware of details and to unearth details and to look over details and peel the layers away. I see you can scrutinize everything, but there's such a thing as having too much concentration and details to the point where you're not seeing the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is always the number one thing in anything that's going on. That's vital in any situation because that is what's going to matter in the bigger picture, is the bigger picture. So don't get caught up in too many details. 12 bells, 12 bullets. <sighs> anyway, um, so keep your focus on the bigger picture and in what is actually needed. Don't add things more on. Uh, on more. I'm some more on. Here I go back and talk roots again. It says you're closest to your conscious subconscious mind when you do that. <laughs> but anyways, don't get so absorbed. Adorbed. Okay. I should do vocal exercises and facial exercises before I turn the camera on, I guess. Don't become so absorbed in the details that you don't see the bigger picture for what is actually needed. All right. Um, also, there could be one thing or one person, here we go again, so this has to be ringing true for somebody, where there's there's a person or people that's sucking your energy dry, they're draining on your energy. So you've got to clean house and clean out people like that. You don't need it. You've got too many other things going on right now. Your, your basic survival um, situations, these are the things that have you preoccupied. You don't need somebody else coming along and and hanging on like a sucker onto your butt and just draining the, the extra energy out of you that you need just for yourself because to get through the day because all the rest of your energy is going into these thoughts, these decisions, these plans, looking ahead for the future. You don't need that. Kick whoever that is to the side and get rid of them. You don't have to be cruel about it or anything or hateful. Do it tactfully, but get rid of them and make it very clear. No uncertain terms. I don't have time for this right now. Um, you need to focus on your own needs. If you let that person drain you, you won't be able to focus on your own needs. There won't be enough stuff. You'll be too exhausted. So the advice of the card is make sure you set boundaries right now to reduce your stress and say no to some people. Flat out, nix, not no. All right? Simple. Keywords are burdens and overload, confusion, exhaustion, blocks, priorities, and a feeling of pressure. You need to let that stuff go. And here comes the King of Swords. And you know what? He's about to kick some butt. It's on somebody's Saturday. All right. This is a mover and a shaker is what this guy is. Um, he's a very strong leader when it comes to business. Business and work. 
He's a wonderful strategist, so he can come up with ways to work around things. Even if there's blocks in your way, this guy will figure out how to work around them. Absolutely. He's all about ambition and nothing will stop him. Um, he can exert pressure as well because he's as impatient to succeed as everybody else is. There's no BSing this person. This person is quite impressive. They are somebody that's going to come into your day on Saturday or somebody you're going to be made aware of. Um, and they can get, may I say, they get shit done. It's just that simple. Um, he awful, he's, see, here we go. La, 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 la. Damn. He, <laughs> he can be relied on to offer calm, logical judgment. While everybody else is running around with their heads cut off and all in a panic or all depressed or all worried and chewing their fingernails, this guy can bring calm to all the people around him. Um, also, any legal issues that need attention for some of you right now, um, he can come to aid as there as well. Some of you may recognize yourself in this card because this is sometimes known as the you card in a reading. And if this is you, make sure you take a logical approach to just about everything in this day on this Saturday. This is a time for mental agility rather than emotional. All right. Remember that the advice is to look for facts before you make any decisions. And your keywords are fairness, balance, decision, strength, justice, and support. Your last card is a beautiful card. It really is. It's a ten of pentacles. It's going to be all right. Don't worry. There you go. Look at that. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. It's luck. It's a great card. It's here to tell you on your Sunday that good luck is is coming on uh, on its way to you. You could be celebrating a windfall or unexpected financial bonus. Isn't that wonderful? I hope some of, some of you out there win the lottery. I hope some of you are my friends that win the lottery. And I don't mean 50 bucks. When I say win the lottery, I mean win a jackpot. A jackpot in a major lottery. We'll send that wish out there, okay? Um, or an unexpected financial bonus of some kind. I wish the best for you. I always do. Appreciate the stability that this um, this is going to to bring to your life and maybe the lives of other the, the immediate people um, that surround you in your life. There could be a family gathering in the cards on this day as well. And if there is, you're going to be feeling so darn good, Capricorn, that... Um, all the usual irritations, the things that really irk you, your pet peeves, these kind of things, they're all going to slip to the wayside. They're not going to matter anymore. You're not going to give a lick about it. You're not going to care. These were things would set a fire under you a week ago, and you, you know, metaphorically put the dukes up and ready to take them on. All that's going to go, you're going to say, I don't care. I can't be bothered anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. It's just that simple. You're going to be feeling so good on this Sunday. General reading that I have to say that and remind some of you. So it's a wait and see. Don't get too excited until you realize it's happening to you. I hope it does, though, for everybody. Um, you're going to be feeling the love and support of relatives and close friends that you treat as family as well. And in relationship, the card predicts families being joined in love. There's nothing more beautiful than that, man. There's just nothing that's more beautiful than that. So um, your feelings are declared. Commitment will follow. A couple will move in together. Um, or somebody may announce that they're getting married. Yeah, they will on this day. Keep your ears up for that one. The advice of the card, appreciate the bonds that you share with others and the love that comes along with those bonds. That's something to celebrate. Smile about, I'm feeling the heat off of this. I'm feeling the emotions. They're pretty strong. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. I'm not going to break down and cry that I'm feeling the tears sting. My eyes are tears of joy. It's that beautiful. Your keywords are family celebrations, generosity, money, and completeness. And that, my dear Capricorn, was your reading for the week of the 19th through the 25th, 2017. I hope you liked this reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it meant something to you. I hope it gives you hope. I hope it gave you a heads up. Um, I just hope good all the way around for you. Also, I'd like to thank all the subscribers at this time for uh, being here and supporting the channel, the very foundation. Oh my, what happened? Hold on, people. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no, I can't. 
time you call. I don't know what's going on. Hold on, guys. Oh my gosh. And the only I'm gonna get nailed by YouTube for this. For Michael, you. shut up. Oh my goodness, I don't know why that came off on the laptop. Sorry, guys. Ah. Uh, there we go. All right. <laughs> I'm going to get nailed. Anyway, it's all good. I go through this all the time. So it's not like I'm committing a crime. Only a YouTube crime. It's copyright stuff. Anyways, um, yes. Yeah, so thank you for, for all the support that you guys give. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, please do. I'd like that very, very much and get to meet you and get to know you all. Um, also, I'd like to thank the group that's um, Bay of Fundy Fortunes group that's found on Facebook as well. Please join us. There are a group of very like-minded people all in the world of walking in the love and the light and the love of tarot and everything that goes with that. It's a great place if you're looking to fit in somewhere and to learn and to feed off of each other in the best of ways. Also, if you like this reading and you want something personal, private, and specific, I do offer that service. Oh, of course I do. You can find that all down below, the information on how it works with us with Bay of Fundy Fortune in the show more section. Open that, let it drop down, read through it, grab my email that's there if you find that you, your interest is piqued and you would like to have a reading. Ship me off an email and I'll get you taken care of. For now, I'm going to say goodbye and good night. And um, for those that are looking for me, you can always find me right here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes or walking the beach along the water's edge that hold the greatest, mightiest tides on the planet, the beautiful, bountiful Bay of Fundy. And you'll always catch me there because I'm a high tide junkie and I'm always waiting on the next high tide. I'd like to thank you very much. I hope to see you all back next week. That's all for now. Goodbye and good night.